What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our realism franchise mode with the Vancouver Canucks. We're about to get into the second year here and um, as a few guys were saying I messed up taking Shishko over uh, Liljegren. Yeah that may be the case. I've never gotten him before and you guys were saying that apparently he gets really good. Well I was kind of judging it based on how the computers got him and I've never the computers always suck so yeah I've never actually seen him get good but all right so if I made that mistake then whatever we'll live with it or maybe we can trade him <laughs> or trade for him basically but anyway I think we're just gonna start simming we got all the lines taken care of and all that kind of stuff and uh yeah pretty much it yeah all the lines are good I think we just sim here and we'll probably be tanking yet again so that's fun we're gonna keep an eye on it though we got to keep an eye on uh, the growth and stuff like that because we're gonna be shuffling guys around as they grow into new roles and i'm actually gonna double check i probably did this in the last episode but to refresh my memory i want to see what picks we have this year if any uh extra ones basically i'm looking for extra ones i thought we picked up an extra one for this year but i could be mistaken i'm just gonna refresh my own memory here and uh yes okay yeah we picked oh yeah we picked up nashville's and we have an extra second in new jersey's and then that's kind of it okay nashville's might not be worth a lot although did this i don't think i saw the sedins retire either so let me actually check here kind of interesting i'm actually don't think they retired because i didn't see when we looked through the fucking hey neither of them retired <laughs> of course man of course okay so this pick might not be worth a whole lot they look like an extremely good team still so okay might be something we have to use to try to move up in the draft which is just which is just fine we could always do that so that's not a huge deal um other than that trading maybe you guys are saying ton of drops off real quick so we might want to ship him off maybe deadline or earlier than that see if we can get another pick for him or something like that we'll see what's going on anyway i think it's time to start simming here I was going to check injuries real quick, but then I know there's off. We didn't make the playoffs, so there we go. All right. Let's uh, let's let's start it here. Let's get those first couple months out of the way. Is that right? Uh, Yes, that's right. Okay. All right. Month and a half out of the way. We'll see how we're doing. I'm going to keep an eye on the Utica stats as well because I would like them to do pretty good again. All right, scout. Here we go. Let's scout around. Okay gonna go try to prioritize the a minus places for sure but uh i think we did we had some relatively good scouting in this last draft some of them not as much as others but we we had them relatively well scouted really a double header in preseason never seen that all right well we'll probably be good in preseason because we're playing teams that are around our skill level with all their young guns coming up <laughs> oh yeah I bet you we're going to have a great preseason. Then we're going to start the season. We're going to be terrible. Or we could just be terrible the whole time. Either or. All right. We'll see, though. I'm still thinking we're not going to be that great of a team. But the thing is, we have so much time. I just want to make sure that guys like Vertinen or, yeah, well, no, no Berchi mostly. Berchi, uh, Boser, and Godolvin. Those are the guys we need, to, we, need to, we need to hope get better. All right. And quickly, too. I want to see, I'm hoping Berchi jumps up pretty quickly. If he's like not having that great of stats on his line, I'll just bump him up to play with Horvat. Maybe playing above his role if he's producing maybe better and having a better season, that might actually help him. Because he is 24. That's kind of, you're getting close to that point where growth is going to stop soon. Because sometimes I feel like it does stop closer to 24 rather than 26. Maybe they get like a last little bump or something like that. But a lot of times it stops a bit earlier than that. So yeah, one and three to start off the season makes a bit of sense. And uh, Utica also one in three, so okay. Yeah, Utica's not doing too great, but we did remove some of their scores, so it makes a bit of sense why they're not having the greatest start. Uh, we're one in five though, so we're doing even worse. Oh no, our our HL teams just stay in pace with us. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping. Uh, oh, oh well, they could still get better. I'm just I don't know. I want Thatcher Demko to do all right. That's pretty much all I care about. I need him to grow quickly. And then once he grows up to like 78, 79, I could put back in that 77 as a backup. And then the AHL team should do better with that. Right now they have like a 68 backing him up just because I wanted Thatcher Demko to get the starting role. I think I explained that in the last uh, video. Yeah, three and seven, not great at all. <laughs> oh man, but their lines aren't even that good. So what can you do? 
All right, scouting. All right, there we go. Yeah, in a couple years, I'd say one or two years, our AHL team is going to be stacked because we're going to have all those young guys coming up. But for right now, we just removed like two of their best scorers in Boser and uh, Goldolbin. And also Savard retired. I mean, I don't even know what... I, I just did the lines. I already kind of forgot what they have there. So that's saying a lot about their squad. But they're now at 5-7, and seven, so that's not too bad. And we're at 3-9-2, and two, so that's good news for us. <laughs> we want another shot at the lottery. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how, how it's going here with this kind of a start. Oh, yeah, we're looking we're looking like we're going to get a shot at the lottery. But we just need people to grow. The thing is, I don't want Horvat to get too frustrated. But we did just sign him to, like, six years. So it doesn't really matter if he gets frustrated. He's not going to, like, hold out on us trying to sign because he's already signed. He might ask for a trade. No, he won't, actually, because I turned all that off. Ha-ha! <laughs> Deal with it. Okay, so 7-10-2, we're actually getting better. We got a three-game win streak in there, longest of the season. But, uh, yeah, I'm still still thinking we're, we're just going to drop off and just be that lottery team, which, I mean, look at our team. It's pretty much a given. And that's kind of how I designed us, to be good in a couple years. I know, it's like almost like we're rebuilding or something. I just like stating the obvious, because what else, what else else can I talk about on the calendar screen? Here we are, last place in the division. Good job. Actually, only one point behind the fifth and sixth spot by the looks of it. So, okay. Well, I don't really care how the team's doing so much. I'd rather see how our personal stats are. Horvat leading in points. Only 18, though. That's actually worrying because we played like 20 games or something. 23 games, yeah. Oh, but Berchi's. Okay, Berchi's still doing well. So, that's actually not bad. 86 still, though. Yeah, all right. Uh, go Ooh, Godolbin. Actually doing pretty damn well. Did he drop down? I thought he was an 83. Maybe not. Maybe he was an 82. You know, he's out, he's really doing good on that third line, actually. Uh, Vertinen's doing well as well. How about Bozer? Yeah, not too great, but he is on fourth line. Did he? No, he's still, still listed to be depth. So yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but I got to keep playing him there until he jumps up and is listed to be third scoring line. Yeah. I don't want to ruin either of these guys, but this guy's green, so it'd be harder to ruin him. But at the same time, you, I don't know. You never know. All right, anyway, uh, this is all skaters. I just want to check out forwards. Anyone? Yeah, I'm really liking how Godolbin's doing. That's actually really promising. Yeah. That's actually really good for us because we need him to jump up. Berchi as well. He needs to jump up. And uh, let's see defensively. Hutton getting some points. 85. I'm pretty sure he was in 84. Maybe he was in 85. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Stetcher. Yeah, doing pretty damn good. Uh, good Branson not jumping up. That's fine. Yule Levy. I yeah, I think he was in 80 or 80. I don't know. I'm already forgetting, man. Whatever. He's doing well. Uh, Tanev, yeah, doesn't produce. That's not his job. Okay, uh, Markstrom, how's our goalies doing? Not great. Actually, Veva Linen in the backup role is doing pretty good, so good. I'm actually okay with that. I don't really care about Markstrom. He's spot-filling, so be, be bad all you want, Markstrom. Veva Linen's doing well, and let's check on the AHL as well. Uh, Roden leading in points. Yeah, oh yeah, we have like literally no one who's a decent prospect here. I mean, Castles were trying to get better for a depth role, but that's pretty much it. How's Cramarosa doing? Yeah. All right, uh, defensively, Subban, he might be depth for us, but in offensive defenseman, his depth is not amazing. Uh, this guy, though, I'm hoping he can get good. It's that red top six potential, so maybe. And they're all kind of minuses. I'm a little worried about Thatcher Demko here. Actually, he's doing pretty freaking well, personal stats-wise. Yeah, and the backup's doing terribly. Why does he have so many games played at 68 overall? Whatever. Demko just needs to get better. His personal stats are decent enough i just need him to jump up at least one overall so that i can put the other goalie back in the team should do better overall all right okay and i think that's pretty much it okay all right just gonna keep an eye on the personal stats i don't care about the team stats it's all about personal stats seeing who grows so that's what we're gonna do month by month here is just keep checking in on the personal stats both for, for both teams as well. AHL, because I need to keep an eye on Demko. The second he jumps up, I got to put the other guy in. Then I got to keep an eye and make sure, you know, the other guy doesn't start taking away playing time from him. You know what I mean? So, it's uh, it's a little bit of everything. All right. Go another month here. 
Okay, Utica, I want to do a little better, but it's it's tough. I mean, I we took away so many other players, basically. So, oh yeah, I forgot. I should probably make a trade. That's what I was actually going to do, and I completely forgot. We have Spiza. <laughs> we have Spiza just kind of kicking it on our team. So, uh, let me see what he's worth here. I completely forgot about that. My bad. <laughs> At least I remembered right now, though. Yeah, I forgot. Spiza, well, I mean, who, who doesn't forget about Spiza every now and then? They, we, got, we got that guy we signed for 13 mil on the block. Get out of here. He's amazing. Um, ooh. Bozer's, yeah, his freaking potential's really good. I, hoping, he get, hoping he starts improving. All right, anyway, um... Yeah, we got to find uh, Spiza here. Where's his? Oh, God. He doesn't have any. Yeah, not too much value there, but that's fine. Throw him on. And any team wants him. Actually, there's a few teams who want him. Leafs could use a defenseman. They want to give up some picks by the look of it. So, we'll take a pick. If I can get, like, a second for this guy, that'd be amazing. I probably won't be able to. Although, this isn't a bad team, so I might be able to get a second. Second wouldn't be bad. I already have a second. Oh, they have sh the Sharks second, which actually might. No, Sharks are, yeah, they're in our division. They're doing all right. They're in, like, third. So, Toronto. That eh, won't matter. Ah, if it feels like Sharks pick from, like, next year. Yeah, but I'm thinking, I don't think the Sharks would drop out of a playoff spot right now. I really don't think so, because I didn't see Thornton retire. Or Marlowe, for that matter. Okay, let's, uh, maybe get another second from next year, or should I just get it from this year? Let's see if I can get it from this year. Click on it. Come on. Uh, that's too much. Oh, and they'd have too many skaters as well. So it might have to be someone back in the third. Or I look for someone else who doesn't, I don't, doesn't need a, ooh. Okay. I don't know if they can take it though for salary. Might be a bit close here. Let's see. Is it going to be salary? Yeah, salary. And I don't really, I can't even retain any more salary. We're done with that. Uh, these guys are contender. Salary may still be an issue with them, but... The way their record is, they might not. Ah, 30. Okay, well. Hmm. In this case, maybe a third wouldn't be so bad. But I'd, I still have to take back a freaking player. All right, let's look for other stuff. That's probably, yeah, salary. This, on the other hand. But they don't want to give up seconds or thirds by the looks of it. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, we're striking out so far. All right, uh, New York still doing bad, but they want to give up picks. They have one roster slot by the looks of it, but it might not. It might be for a goalie. Yeah, too many skaters. Well, we could get a third and take back a skater. Do they have anyone who's in who's a risky prospect? I'd take back. I'd take a risk on someone. All right, so if we're gonna get a third, I want some kind of a prospect back. Anyone on the block that they're giving up? Or I just look for rookie skaters, to be honest. And uh, we'll see. Seventh defenseman, no. Bottom six, no. Hmm. There's a top nine guy here, Kovacs, 76 at 21. That's too much value, though. But if I went just for that, maybe. Sniper in the top nine, not really. Okay. Let's see what else. I don't really think they have too much here. I'm looking for like a red top nine or something like that. So they don't really have anything. Well, okay. Other options here. We'll keep moving. I doesn't have to be to these guys. Okay, Nashville. Do they have any prospects? They can't afford them though. Contender, close on the... It's actually kind of close with their record. They can still get better though. If I give them Spiza, that should just improve them. Although, do I want... Ooh, Hello. Top, a green, a red top six, sorry. Red top six, hell yeah. Um, although, 72 at 20 already. That's a bit close, but it is risky at the same time. I'll remember this guy, Spears. Sniper, right, right-handed. Discipline's amazing, so I won't have to worry about penalties. But 20 at 72 already, that's cutting it close for sure. But he's, he's red top six, so. What's he listed to be? Other forward? We play him in a scoring role. He should get better. Okay, so there's a risk we could take. Spears. I'll remember Spears. I want to keep looking, though. I'll look around a bit. Okay, Spears on New Jersey. Too much, too much. Salary. Okay, they don't want Spears, of course. Um, these guys, they don't want to give up picks, but would they have any prospects that they might want to give up? 
not looking like it. Sveshnikov, he's never panned out, but 78 Red Elite 21. Maybe he does this time. <laughs> I doubt it. Minor score. Mm. I don't know. I don't like I don't like Sveshnikov. I don't like plus they don't want to give him up, so screw that. He could go for Cal Kale Fleury, red top four, but I've never seen him get incredibly good either. Yeah, I'm not looking not liking anything here. Not much. Okay, keep going though. Dallas, salary might be an issue. These guys, player, but I'd have to get someone signed, which could be bad if I'm looking at a prospect. We'll see. Malosh, maybe. Nah. Yeah, I'd rather get... Yeah, I'd really rather get freaking... I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Malosh. It's the red. I wish his overall was better because I'd completely go for him if his overall was slightly better. Other defenseman. I could play him immediately. Hmm. Although, no, I need someone who's going to grow into an elite role. We have the, we have like the bottom four for our defense taken care of. I think Spears is probably the best option, but I'm going to look a couple more places here. And, uh, ooh, hold on. 19 at 73. Hold on. I know he's only top nine, but what kind of player is he? Two-way forward, offensive awareness, and passing look like they'll grow decently. So he could have an offensive fling to him. Defensive stats, they could grow well as well. But the question is, is he eligible for AHL? Maybe, but 19 at 73. I actually would not be too opposed to that. Could be a depth guy. If it, I mean, not even a depth guy, like a... Uh, what am I trying to say? I like it. I kind of like that guy. 73. Yeah. And it's more guaranteed that he'll get up to an NHL team. And for Zbiza, I would do that. Okay, let's put this guy in there. I like that. From. And do we have any more value we could give? get? Maybe. We might be able to get like a four or something. So we'll look at that. All right. Let's look at what else. So I could get squeeze a four out of them. They want to give it up as well. So that's good news. I got three is actually low value. Let me see. Uh, that's probably pushing it. But I'll actually try. Actually. If we give up a four. Ooh. They want our three. Well, I'll throw in our four. Try to bump that up. I don't think that'll go through, but I'll try anyway. It actually did. Okay, good. I was hoping that would go through. So we moved up a four to a three, and we traded Spiza for another prospect. So okay, that I'm I'm cool with that. We didn't. We're not using Spiza. We just got another prospect. The question is, can I? Hold on. I gotta check. I gotta move him down immediately because he's gonna be placed on my NHL team. I'm pretty sure, unless that's only when you sign guys. I'm gonna actually double check. I, well, I don't want him sitting on my uh, NHL team. If he have to play, have, ugh. if he has to play juniors, that's fine. I cannot talk. If he has to play juniors, that's all. That's all good with me. But um, uh, yeah, he is down here. So if I send him down, don't what team being under the salary cap? How's that even possible? We have freaking this guy up here. Okay, well I gotta switch him with someone. Oh, cause Biza was up. Yeah, okay, that makes sense actually. Okay, um, ooh shit. I could bring up Larson just having chill. That's actually a little bad. I didn't. Why? Freaking A. I can bring up Cramarosa. Biega's pissed. Oh, he's nothing, huh? Yeah, this guy's just nothing. I could actually bring him up and have him sit here. Because he's not growing. I can just throw someone else in. I'll do that. That should work. Wait, what? Oh, my God. We're like teetering on the edge here. Okay, I could always sign some crap player. Which I might do. Because I hate not being able to move up and down guys. And I don't I don't really need him want to move anyone up or down from here. No, none of these guys. No. The only person I would move is guys who are not making enough. I could do Larson. Yeah, Larson's the other option. But he's helping out that team. That's why I don't want to do that. Same with Roden. Hmm. Cramarosa would work, on the other hand. He would work, on the other hand. And it's not looking like he's going to pan out to be much. So, uh, we could do that. And you never know. If that guy can play on the top line, then it'll... If, well, if he's even eligible. I'll bring up Cramarosa for now. Alright, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do that real quick. Hold on. So, I gotta fix those lines real quick. So, give me, give me a sec to do that.
Okay, so I got that all sorted. I moved up Castles, moved Videmo to the center. Uh, I got Parkins, another playmaker, and then I got this guy, uh, Matthias Fromm, playing here. So, I'm thinking that'll be just fine for him, even though he's kind of not that great. <laughs> Neither is the rest of our AHL team right now. So, that'll work. Kramaros is just going to chill up on our NHL team, just kind of sitting in the depth. Uh, whatever. I could always... Uh, no, I can't. I, well, I could scratch Dorset and put him in there if I wanted to. So that's always an option, which I might do. I'm actually going to do that. We'll scratch door set and put in... I can actually move Gaunt's back because Kramarosa is the center. So that's good. Play him in his actual role. Put Kramarosa in there. Uh, substitute. I don't think he's in other lines. But I don't want to mess anything up just in case. Oh, I do have a line error. Penalty kill? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was. I could put Kramarosa in there. Yeah, we'll just do that. I should have just subbed in all lines. But... You never know. Sometimes this game can be funky and screw everything up for you. All right, there we go. Putting Cramarosa in on the penalty kill, and that should be solid. Yep. All right, so I don't mind that too much. We're still teetering on the edge of the salary, but that's pretty much all we needed to do. Um, so, yeah, other than that, I think we're good now, and we can continue simming. So that took a bit longer than it was supposed to, but whatever. Uh, we're still going to get up to the trade deadline in this video anyway, so we're all good. Okay. Time to sim now. Watch us do better. No. <laughs> Kramarosa is just like the one guy we want to do better. So we'll see. Kramarosa still might get better outside of his role. Um, he wasn't doing great in his role anyway. At least growing. So whatever. Maybe more offensive guys on our AHL team will help him. I don't know. They just they just don't not they don't have a good enough offense right now to do well. So we need to get Demko out of there immediately, pretty much. So that's why I'm hoping he'll grow. So we're gonna sim up here one more month. Check on the stats again. Check on Demko. See how he's doing. Hopefully he starts growing a bit. Because we do need him to get bumped up. Definitely. Alright. NHL team. We're still doing where we want to be. Below 500. In a lottery position. Um, AHL team can't really do too much about it. Unfortunately. I just need to get <laughs> Thatcher Demko better. That's all we're waiting on right now is Thatcher Demko. So, yep. All right. Scouting again. I'm hoping Berchi jumps up as well. He's doing great on the second line, so I don't want to move him right now. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. I need to wait for Godolbin to get better, basically. Once Godolbin jumps up to like a second line rating, which hopefully he'll do. I know we're not having the greatest season, but he's having a good season personally. So I'm thinking that should outweigh the fact that we're not having a great season i mean we're not completely tanking but we're keeping ourselves in a lottery position so that's relatively good news in what could i mean i guess it's a silver lining basically so that's about all i can think of all right so in the month of january now yeah utica is just doing trash whatever what can you do we're, i'm more worried about our nhl team okay oh, it's taking a while why maybe it's just me or maybe I need to reset my freaking system again because, you know, EA. All right, let's see here. 27 points in how many games now? 30-something? 30 36. Yeah, not the greatest production. But Godolbin's doing just fine, man. He's producing like a like a machine. He's not jumping up, though. I might want to change him to a left winger just because that's where I'm going to play him all the time. There's Erickson Berchi. It jumped up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it still has to be second line. But he jumped up. That's good news. He, that means he's still jumping. He's where he needs to be. Good. Okay. Uh, Vertanen, yeah, still 82. Grandlin, Sutter, Boucher, Boser. Come on, jump up, please. Yes, he did. Whoa. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, that threw me off. I thought Boser jumped up to an 84 and was ready for third line. No. Oh, my God. That sucked. That got my hopes up. All right. <laughs> uh, Gaunt's... He's doing all right. Yeah. Skilly's doing terrible, but whatever. He's playing on like the second line. All right. Defensively, Stature leading in points. Good. Still listed to be top six. I think that's where we got him. Hutton is listed to be top four, and that's where we have him, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. And Trampkin, top six still. Cool. And Yule Levy got better. 82 now. That's good news. We got to keep an eye on him as well. Goaltender wise, head Veva Linen. Did he get better? He might have. He's still doing great. No, he's actually hadn't got better, but he still should get a jump in the offseason. Look at those stats, man. He's yeah, he's actually super solid. Okay, now to the HL. Everyone, everyone's doing horrible. 
Come on now. All right, so Venemo, yeah, I don't really care. Castles, need him to grow. Venemo got better, good. Uh, from, whew, he already jumped, oh, was he already 74? I think it was, he's pretty sure he's a 72. So, yeah, he's already starting to jump. How many games played does he have? He's already got that many points. Oh, 29, oh, well, he's also playing somewhere else, yeah. Oh, yeah, those could have been points from anywhere else, I think. Pretty sure he had to have been playing somewhere. Uh, Subban, Larson, I think he jumped up a bit. All right, that's it. Come on, Demko. Show me something. Yes, baby! 79. Okay, good news. That's very good news. Now we can put in the other guy. All right, yeah, and this guy can sit scratched. Beautiful. Yeah, okay, okay. Now that's good. Okay. Whew. All right, good. Demko jumped. Time to put in the other guy. Good news, man. Good news there. What? All right, back. Okay, so we could put in the 77 guy, and he'll be playing in his role now. I think he should be listed more of as a backup now, even though he was listed as a minor starter. Because Demko's a 79 now, his role might have changed, which I'm hoping for. Even if not, I'm still he's still playing freaking backup. I don't care. He won't he won't take away any ice time or any starts, whatever I'm trying to say. Alrighty, yeah, scratch this guy now. Yes, sir. And put in the other guy. And that guy, the 70 or the 68, will grow even though he's scratched. Yeah, this guy's not happy. Whatever. Get in there. Now you'll be happy. All right. So is he listed to be? No, he's still listed to be minor starter. But whatever. He's playing backup. With Demko being two overall better, he will get the majority of the starts. And now our team might be slightly better. They might start to climb on top of things again. It's, oh shit. Why is this guy down here? This guy actually had a lot of points. But I kind of would rather grow this guy. Even though he's only a top nine playmaker. Again, it's another guy who might be decent. Yeah, because Magna was like leading in points or some shit like that. This guy's only got nine. Watch, this guy's like leading in points. <laughs> uh, he's probably got power play time. Yeah, he does. That's why. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so that takes care of that. Let's go back. Keep simming here. Um, Yeah, I didn't think. No, I, I didn't. No one jumped on, uh, or at least jumped to where they needed a higher role. On the NHL side of things. So we can keep simming. Go one more month here. Pass the all-star break. Check on everything again. Then we can go up to the trade deadline. And decide if we want to make any more moves. So uh, yeah. Bit slower pace during these rebuild years. But you have to keep an eye on those prospects. For sure. I'm I'm super, super careful about those guys. Especially yellows. Because they pretty much need to be played in their roles. Same with greens for the most part I've noticed. Reds. Play, you try to play them above their potential to try to make them be good. And if they don't pan out, then they don't pan out. And that's basically what a red is. It means it's a low accuracy to what their potential thing says. So they could be better. They could get worse. The potential changes over time for players sometimes, but it, it's never changed on their card. So like when you see a top nine guy get like to like his freaking high eighties and stuff, his potential changed like, and to the 90s, because that's elite. Like, top nine, you can maybe be a second liner, basically. Um, to get up to the elite status, that means their potential would have changed at some point. But unfortunately, EA doesn't change the freaking potentials on the thing. So, you know. <laughs> so, I've also seen, like, AHL top six guys. Like, they've gotten to be, like, third liners. So, again, I think that's another case of it changing. Even though it was green, I'd still, at the same time... It, the, the, the potential had to change because an AHLer should only be able to be maybe a fourth liner at some point. Third liner, I'm talking like 84, 85 third liner as well. That's definitely not AHL potential. So yeah, just little things like that that you notice after playing this game, which I'm sure you guys have noticed. So I'm like, I'm probably preaching to the choir. But if there's a couple of you guys out there that didn't know that, hey, you learned something. And at least if you hate this commentary, you could have been like, well, at least I learned something. So there you go. But if you hate this commentary, you probably didn't even make it this far in the freaking video. So, I'm talking to no one at this point. All right, still last in the division. Good enough? Or good news? Good enough. Yeah, it is good enough right now for our team. I'm happy with it. All right, Bo Horvat's still leading in points. Good job, man. 45. Actually, that's a, quite a jump. Closer to... Yeah, he's actually getting closer to a point-of-game player. That's actually good news. Godolvin, you jumping up, please? God damn it, Goldie. Berchi, still 87. That's actually good. This guy's going to be at least a solid second liner for us. I'm still hoping, back of my mind, he jumps up the first line time, but it's not looking like it as he's 25 now. But hey, uh, Vertanen not getting better. Oh well, this guy might not pan out. If he doesn't pan out, he doesn't pan out. He still got he still got the offseason jump though, so you never know. Um, how's Boaster doing? Come on, jump up, you piece of shit! At least give me a roll. Give me that roll of fourth line or something, you prick. All right, 
I think that's motivating him, right? Okay. Um. Oh, that's just forwards. Yeah, that's right. Uh. Yeah, pretty much nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, defensively, Hutton's still good. Stetcher. Yeah, he actually Hutton actually passed him up, and I think he's playing in the top. F yeah, 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 yeah. I put him in the top four. That's right. Because he's playing. Uh, holy shit. Okay, you levy. Hello, you levy. Time, time to move up. So someone's moving down. All right, Trampkin and well, I can move. No, I can't really move down. Good Branson, because it's not, someone from the top four has got to move down. Ooh, Hutton. You might be the odd man out right now. 85 at 24. I need my top fours to get 86, 87. Hmm. All right. Well, for you, Levy, I got to make the move. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll remind myself to do that. Let's check out the rest of the stats. Marstrom. Still doing crap. Vava Linen still doing good. Still hasn't jumped, though. All right. That's fine. Okay. Let's make that change real quick. Good news, man. Players are growing. All right. Come on. So now I'll decide where I want you, Levy. Oh, no, no. I can move that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone. Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, someone's. I think it's either Stetcher or uh, Trampkin who's in the top four because they had to be. Yeah, I'm a freaking idiot. I was <laughs> I was thinking it was both of them uh, sitting in the uh, top six and good Branson in the top four. But I remember, yeah. yeah, my bad. So Hutton and Stetcher, I'm going to move down because he's still listed to be top six. So. Do that. Hutton, are you righty? No, you're lefty. I'd... Yeah, I'd rather play you Levy on his natural side. He's more important. Sorry, Hutton, but that's that's just the way it goes. All right, so Stetcher back where he's listed to be. Maybe he can grow slightly a bit more, but I don't know. Green top six. That looks like 84 might be the max for that. Unless, of course, we can get him slightly better, which would be great to get him into the top four. That'd be amazing. All right, Um, do I want to put you Levy anywhere else that he already isn't? No, he's already on the top power play unit. And uh, how's he looking defensive stats wise? I wouldn't put him on the penalty kill quite yet. Yeah, no, I wouldn't put him on the penalty kill quite yet. All right, so he's where he should be everywhere now. Good. You will have you growing up. I'm excited. Just a little bit more. All right, and keep it going. Now we'll get up to the deadline. And everything should be gravy. Then we'll decide if we want to make any moves. Like everyone's saying Tanev. So maybe we trade Tanev. For a maybe a uh, growing guy, someone, another defenseman who might be able to get a top, top be a top guy for us, like uh, offensive defenseman to play with you, Levy. That would be pretty filthy. Someone who's a righty though. How about that D'Angelo guy on Phoenix or sorry Arizona? I I do that every now and then. Arizona D'Angelo. I've heard that he produced really well. At least he used to. I don't know if he got if he was changed at all at any point. He might have been, but I'll check. I'll check out someone. I'll peruse around during uh when we uh get to the deadline for a little something. Unless we're gonna start improving a shit ton here and become like a playoff team all of a sudden. <laughs> we had like a few game winning streak right there, and I was like, wait a sec. But I don't think so. I think we're gonna lose here. Yep, we're gonna erase that win streak with a few losses there. Vancouver Canucks hockey, baby. That's how we do. Looks like Montreal's struggling. Beat them. Get wrecked. And Calgary, can we at least... I don't really care. No, I'll actually lose to Calgary, please. Oh, they're a bad team, too. Hey, we're competing with them. Lose to them. No, you gotta lose to them. We're competing with them for a better lottery position. <laughs> Alright, so at the deadline, we're actually closing out on 500, which is interesting. I still don't, We're not gonna make the playoffs, so I'm not gonna try to make the playoffs. But it is it it is it does mean our team's slowly improving. And that's good. I think maybe next year we have a shot at the playoffs. I was thinking maybe three years off the playoffs, and then we'd be a for sure playoff team every year. But mm, right now, I don't know. No, nope. <laughs> 27, 29, and five. Yeah, not not didn't get to 500. That's fine though. Uh, yeah, we're not in second to last now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Arizona is actually out of a playoff spot. So that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to check on the stats and everything. And then, yeah, I want to see. Come on, Berchi, be a jumper for me, please. 88 now. Nope. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Okay, uh, Erickson, Sutter, Dolbin. Jump up already, bro. Oh, yeah, I should change him to a freaking left winger already. 
whatever. I could do that at any point, but I should probably do that now because I'm going to keep forgetting. Boser still has to be depth. I still think he'll jump in the offseason, though. If he doesn't, we're in trouble. But those depth things are so hard. I don't want to sit the guy and, like, have him play half the time. You know what I mean? Plus, the, the whole morale things from getting scratched and stuff. It's, yeah, it's shit to deal with. That's why I just play him in a freaking fourth line role. Hope they get better. So, if he jumps in the offseason, that's fine. He'll get he'll get up to uh he'll get to his potential I think with that green I don't think there's any reason he should miss it. All right, uh, defensively Stetcher, yeah, and Yul Levy, not producing a whole hell of a lot, but that's fine. That's why I will need some someone with him who will produce. Although his awareness is good, if his passing got better, he would produce a hell of a lot more. But who knows? His defense needs to get better. There's a lot that needs to get better with him still. Although he's 85 overall. You can see some it's some of it, I think it's boosted up by his awareness. That's not balanced with his passing. His puck control is really good. So that's good. But his passing needs to be better. It needs to be a better puck mover. His shot's really hard, but not accurate. And he's a great skater, though. So yeah. Give him time. He'll 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 be he'll be our number one guy, babes, basically. Alright, Vava Linen. Still not jumping, but that's alright. He'll jump in the offseason, I'm pretty sure, with a performance like this. That's oh, his goals against drop, but his save percentage is still really good. So I don't care. Alrighty, um, HL now, check on that. Then we'll look around the league and may, might want to do it before I forget his change. What's his name? Roden, Castles, producing. Ooh, Castles jumped up to a 78. Good. Good, 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 good. And his defensive stats are growing really nicely together. So this guy should be a decent third line center for us of the future. That's what I'm looking for out of Castles. Just a really, really solid defensive third line center. Actually, it looks like he has a bit of. No, not real. I was going to say a bit of offensive flair, but his awareness is going to bring him down. His shot's good, but if he has someone to pass to him on that third line, he should produce relatively well. But as long as the defensive stats are there, I'm cool. Videmo didn't jump up too much more. From still at 74. All right, and I think that's pretty much it for all the main guys there. Defensively, I don't think we're just looking at, oh, McCullough, huh? 74. I think that was kind of where he was after jumping. Yeah, he's kind of staying there too. Demko, has he gotten any better? No, still 79. Carletto jumped up to a 78. Okay, but he's not taking away time still. So that's good. They're both growing, but he's not taking away time from uh, Demko. And it looks like their record's been improving. I should check on that. Yeah, I should actually check on that because it looks like they might be swinging, turning things around here. Interesting. I'm actually going to check on that. That's good news because making the playoffs for them is only just more experience, more playing time. Let me check on that. I wasn't paying attention to their record uh, at all, which uh, I should be doing more. I was doing it while they were losing. Let me see. Are they closing? Did they did they fix their shit? I have to go to calendar. No, I could just do this. Actually, yeah, 28, 27, and one. They were like, they were like seven losses out of 500 at one point. Yeah, they really turned it on. Yeah, that goalie thing really helped. But I had to make sure Demko would get better. Six in the division. They're only two points out of a wild card spot right now. They can do it. Utica can get back in there. If they keep playing the way they're playing, they'll do it. All right. Anyway, let's check around the league, see if we want to make any changes. I'll just look at the lines first, and we'll look at it from there. We got to look at gaps of in our depth chart, basically. We got to see what's going on. Obviously, we're going to need you know some first liners eventually. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, we got some of those getting better. Godolbin. Probably won't be a first liner. I'm hoping Berchi will be a first liner. I want him to get to an 88. He would be fine as a first liner at 88. 87's. Oh, hello. <laughs> I just saw it. Yeah, he's listed to be first liner now. Bump him up. Good. All right. And um, I'm not moving to go Dolbin. He's, he's just fine there. I'm actually. Yeah. Oh, he's listed to be a third liner now. Let's do that then. So I'm going to bump him up one roll because he's listed to be a third liner. I want to bump him up into a higher roll so that if his, if his, if that changed, then maybe he got slightly better at a couple stats, just didn't affect his overall yet. Don't know, but we're going to do that. All right, Boser, I, I really want him to like get one overall better. So it lists him as like a third liner or something, but it's slow going for him. Okay. Anyway, so if we're not going to hold on to Tanev, then he's a trade asset for sure. He is at a really good contract, but for three more years, we'll have to sign him for something pretty good when we're, yeah, when we're going to move him. Good Branson. I would actually want to trade this guy before anyone else. Yeah, because, 
to be honest, that's very underwhelming. But we still have another year to trade this guy. He's got another year left on that deal. We could trade him next year. But yeah, Tanev, are we, do we want to trade him now? You guys are saying that he drops off pretty quick. We don't have to trade him right now. We can wait still. Uh, but if we wanted to trade for someone, I would look for like an offensive defenseman of the future to play with Yule Levy. And that can be tough. With the value that we'd have, it could be tough to get that. I know. Lily Grin, I know. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take that L and I'll sit here with it. I maybe should have picked him up. Apologize. <laughs> I, I, was, I was basing my uh, thing off what computers do with their prospects, which is a lot of times terrible. All right, anyway, um, Donov still got some decent value. Yeah, he's still got really decent value. So if you throw him in there, teams that want him, Arizona actually wants him. Now I'm going to check on that D'Angelo guy. He used to be really good. And I don't see him at all, so he might not be good at all. Oh, okay, he's down here now, not growing at all, not producing. Okay, so not looking like he, he does his thing. Okay, but Chikrin is there. That's an option. 83 at 19 years old. Why is his value so low with that? I'm actually not sure. He's got the elite yellow potential. Lefty. You love he's a lefty, isn't he? Fuck. I was hoping for a righty, to be honest. How's foot? Calvin Foot's a righty. But that takes a while to develop. Although, yeah, hold on. Yeah, Yule Levy's a lefty because I got him on that side. Damn it. I'd prefer a righty, but I'll t I I'll don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm going to shop around a bit here just for defensemen, actually. Just to kind of take a look, give you guys an idea of maybe something we could trade for. I want to trade for someone young, obviously. Um, Nope, 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 nope. Lintome wouldn't be bad, but they don't want to give him up. And at Red Elite, 86-24, he probably won't get too much better. Uh, Larson looks like he's kind of screwed, although he's not happy. Nope, lefty as well, and it's a bit of more of a risk. Although we could pick him up just to pick him up and see what happens. But, no, nah, I don't like it. Alrighty, let's keep going here. Washington, I don't think, well, Orlov, maybe. Maybe an Orlov, they probably don't want to give him up. I don't know how good he's going to get in this game anyway. Oh, no, he's pretty much done. Orlov is done. All these guys, nope, 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 nope. None of them. Yeah, we need someone very, I think, kind of specific. Almost like, a, I need a right-handed offensive defenseman is what I'm really looking for. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, righty. Be a righty. Okay. All right, fuckers. I think you guys win in this case. Lilgren, we might go for him. <laughs> we might go for him. They want to give him up. 18 years old, 69 overall. Keep him in the juniors. He's a righty. One of them will produce as you, Levy, and Lilligren, I think. So that's looking juicy. How juicy is that looking? They want to give him up. You guys are saying he grows, so I'll take your word for it. And we could probably get a pick out of that as well. Easily get a pick out of that. Probably a second. Not a first. Unless, let me see. I'll check value. I'm not going to make this trade go through. I just want to check value. Give you guys a rundown. But I'm pretty sure this is what we want to do. You guys were, yeah, you guys are chirping me for not getting Lilligren. And, uh, yeah, not a first, definitely. Probably I'd be able to get a second. Or a first from the future. Did they drop off in the future? Not, uh, not really. And they, yeah, they don't want to give up the future ones. If I throw that in, is that any less value? It's close. How they looking this year? No, they're too good. They're too good for all these years. And they're just going to be better with Tanev. Yeah. Okay, so they're definitely win now team. A second would probably be it. That value is very even. I could probably squeeze a third out of them as well. And I might want to push some of these to next year. Because if you look at what picks we have this year. Two firsts, two seconds, two thirds. Next year, not so much. So I'd probably want to push, uh, get a second and a third from next year if I was going to do it. Yeah, I would de that's what I would do. Second and a third from next year. I don't want to overdraft this year. I'd rather spread some of it out. Just so that we'd have... A lot of waves of young guys coming in year after year because with this we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of guys growing immediately we'll draft more that's gonna grow over time this year and then next year that'll be more role player drafting year and then they'll come in in the future when we're like a contender at least that's my logic and i hope it pans out like that but this looks good guys <laughs> i know you guys are already being like make the fucking trade so i'm gonna leave, leave it to you guys though is it does his value look good enough uh, does that mean he's going to be good? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what you guys are going to say, but I'm still leaving it to you guys. So let me know what you guys think about that trade. The deadline is upon us. 
I think that trade will be great. 69 overall. I think he's going to be, he's pretty much only going to need maybe one year in the, in the AHL. He's going to finish off this year in the juniors, maybe one year in the AHL or another year in the juniors. Then he should be NHL ready. So yeah, probably not by next year. He might be ready by next year, but maybe not. Although you guys were saying to play him immediately in the NHL, which I've, that's kind of weird for someone that bad. I don't know. We'll see what happens anyway. All right, guys. Hope, hopefully you enjoy this. Leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.